trying to do because that's what you're comparing it to. You ain't comparing it that you're trying to do a job. Y'all over there arguing, is my voice, your voice bigger than mine? Is it who voice bigger? Or y'all arguing all type of shit beyond the point of a nigga was wrong and our company for have it allowed. Y'all want to say for having a watch party. Cool. But bootlegging, we ain't taking that. Yeah, we taking the gun charge. We're not taking the gun, the murder with a different gun plus the drugs and all that. We're not taking it. ain't ours. We fight those cases for sure. We wasn't bootlegging shit. We threw a watch party like the average person that would do on anything that they host. If it's at their crib, where they at. Yeah, of course some of your homies going to slide in for the free and all that. But we did not bootleg none of these platforms content, nor do we do. Nor do we do KOTD event. I have a watch party on it or bootleg it. Let's make that very, 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 very clear, bro. We would never disrespect Peste like that. That's a whole fact. And I understand it. It's me. We know some of this shit. Like, again, I'm taking the wrong one. But some of this shit is some of y'all feeling like, oh, we got them. Cool. But again, I say to this to say to that. I'm with all what y'all want to say. Oh, y'all want to counsel Cola? Okay. Let's just do a category of the things y'all want to counsel since a nigga did a watch party in charge. But y'all trying to make it bootleg and then, or, or some type of underground scheme to make it bigger. But since I had a watch party and y'all say, get Cola out of here. Stop the cap at the cash app. Let's just run all the blog and shit that went on around here that we need to get rid of. That means let's get rid of media in its totality. That's all I'm asking. You got niggas telling on their friends, making fake names. You got people saying nigga, that's not a race. You got accused rapists. You got uh, people that's supposed to uh, be entwined with family members. You got, uh, these are all the top niggas. You got, uh, cross-dressing and talking to young girls about dating. You got a lot of shit that y'all could be complaining about. But this became the biggest thing because I understand it. But y'all done threw spider legs on this shit. Ain't nobody sold no fucking boo legs, bro. And imagine that. You think a nigga be going through all this hassle respectfully, y'all, if I knew I could just sit back and make bootlegs off this culture and not go to events and just sit back and just tell everybody on Twitter, hey, I got the bootleg. Everybody watch bootlegs, bro. That has never been my intention just to take nor just fuck up nobody event or try to uh, savage some money under the low from an event. And like, bro, we not that shit ain't thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Because I would wholeheartedly tell you I ain't trying to lie to y'all. If that if battle rap bootleg had made that, that much money, bro, I wouldn't blog. I wouldn't try to put battle rap music awards together. I wouldn't do no Olympics. I wouldn't do no giveaways. I wouldn't give a fuck about doing shit. But coming to Twitter talk and telling everybody I got the bootleg, bro, that don't make no sense. Not one time ever could a nigga show you a receipt while I sold them or I was soliciting bootlegs to sell to them. That ain't what I did, man. And y'all need to get the story corrected. Did I have a watch party of John Josh? Yes, I fucking did, bro. And I take full accountability for it. But I wasn't selling John John event. I went on the back screen telling, hey, Reddit, I got it for a G. I wanted no Facebook groups telling niggas to come in here and this is where. I didn't do none of that. Most of the people that was there, even the people that, that, use, that, that usually donate to me in here or wherever, is the people that came in there and donated. And most of them still bought the, the stream. That's a fact. All them people in there didn't even... All, a lot of them people can tell you from Debo or whoever you... Y'all want to highlight out in there was in there will tell you I didn't even pay for shit. Cola just sent me in because that's what it initially was. And once it got tight, I was leaving room for my people and I admitted that. But I wasn't selling no bootlegs and I guarantee you... Oh, all the all the bullshit y'all gonna try to muster up about this watch party. That shit ain't gonna overcome my work. That ain't gonna overcome what I do, bro. And I'm still gonna keep putting on how I've been putting on. So is my platform. And that's what I came to clip. Ain't nobody show. Listen, again, don't come out with the allegations. John John, respectfully, he had what he needed to do to say what he needed to say. We rectified the situation the best way we could, whether he say he accepted or not, how he feel. Show us where we sold the bootleg or we were streaming it to people if we if y'all y'all say we did the the KOTD uh, event. That's a bald face fucking lie. Cause Remy again, Remy event took the weekend over, bro. And we was there. All th a thousand people can account, we was there. Like we gotta we gotta stop at some point. Y'all just attaching people and and, and the fucked up part about it, y'all gonna really throw pest stay in here, bro. And try to use the rollout of that man being passed to try to add on to y'all uh, 
to add on to what y'all, whatever y'all trying to do with this, with this shit that y'all taking from this watch party and try to make it like it a boot, bootleg and Ponzi scheme, that's out of pocket. And y'all need to see that. And whoever sent y'all that information for y'all to even go there need to be mad about that because they used a man in honor of a man that passed to try to act like we violated that man to, to over add significance to a situation that, again, we apologized for and also said um, and sent money for. Again, everybody say, why you ain't called John John? Again, I said this last time and, and one time only. Just as well as John, I ain't want to talk. John John didn't want to talk. We was mutual on both not talking. That's why the people that talked to him was the people to talk to him respectfully. So that's why that went like that. And again, yes, I'm taking my, my accountability for my situation wholeheartedly, but I'm not taking all the extra shit that people throwing in here. And I have a right to defend that. However you see fit of it. I have a right to defend that these people is adding on a whole bunch of shit that ain't got nothing to do with nothing because they feel away. Now, when it come to all the other shit, bro, because I know I, I seen this shit, a nigga saying this and nigga saying that again, bro. Y'all heard me say it a thousand times. This is America. We're going to go where we're going to go. We're going to walk where we're going to walk. I don't want no problems with nobody, bro. I am keep saying this shit. I ain't, ain't trying to be a problem for nobody. That's all I'm going to say with that pro part of that, bro. I see what they said. I well aware. This, this, and that. But again, one thing I will say on that, all I'm saying is that even if that's the case, keep that same energy as well as the same past issues niggas got past when it was way more beef and way more heightened things that could have happened and niggas went on about their way and did what they did. But again, I get it. Y'all see 57160 nigga thing. Okay, cool. So everybody gonna have the threats, the whatever. Everybody wanna play tough about a situation that's business and not street. So everybody gotta raw their chest out, which don't make no sense, bro. It don't make no sense at the end of the day. I streamed the event, basically had a watch party where people came in. Let me say that one more time. Apologize to John John a thousand times. Whether he, how you feel my demeanor is above it, I can't help that. I keep saying that a thousand times. As far as this past state shit, they got to cut it out. They just have to. And salute KOTD, salute everything they got going on, and salute GTX card and everybody got shit coming up. I won't ever stream another event that ain't that got to do with battle rap. I'm telling you that for sure. You, I promise you, it ain't that serious, bro. It ain't never been that serious. We not fucked up. Eat good every day, smoke good every day, live good every day, kids good. Trust me, that little money ain't took care. I got a daughter in college and another one on the way, bro. It ain't, uh, trust me, if bootlegging really was that beneficial, I wouldn't talk and that's what I would do because I, I do have shit to take care of, but that's not it, bro. It ain't making that enough, that much money, nor did I bootleg. And trust me, a lot of people that fuck me was people in there. Now, whoever went on and did what they did, they had to be disgruntled coming in thinking they was going to see it and couldn't for whatever the price may be and they went and did what they did. I understood and I understand John John feeling how he feel with how he feel about the event. But we ain't gonna lie at KOTD and all these other people. Then y'all talking about you ain't do URL, the URL, like stop it, bro. URL ain't sent me to do nothing. No, they did not. I ain't got no business. Why what smack a bees you know, call me of no sort to do nothing with URL. I'm a fan, just like y'all, a part of a media company that cover URL business. Cause that's y'all steady tying this shit to more and more and more and more and more shit. Even when, like, like I say, y'all on there talking about the bootleg, even in the interview last night, y'all asking Polo about relationships and things of this and this. What does those relationships with battle rappers got to do with anybody that's doing what they do? If that ain't what you do, you ain't got to keep telling people that ain't what you do. But y'all trying to diversify some type of ranking here. So now y'all all doing what y'all need to do with the added factors. Yeah, nigga, I take full blame. I said that you ain't got to blame nobody in the company. I said that, but still here we here with people forcefully trying to add, 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 add shit. Like, come on, man. Let's stop it. All the people that y'all don't validate or believe in anyway. That's why I ain't coming to overdo whatever the extra shit with them. I can't address really Pat State and this shit with, 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 with all this extra shit steady coming out again of what, what's going to happen moving forward and how it's going to happen. Well, and all this little ignorant ass shit y'all trying, bro. Black Compass Media is stable. We're going to continue to be a stable. 
We're going to continue to put on fire events. The Olympics is this Sunday. You already know Final Four. And listen, again, Indie Artist is Monday. And again, GTX Saturday. So is the fight. Javante Davis. It's up. Make sure y'all go get the pay-per-view. It's $20. Since y'all all in the uproar about pay-per-views and everybody should be on here showing that they bought the paper. Like y'all showing all the receipts. Showing, show us y'all bought that GTX this weekend on this timeline. It should be over a thousand of y'all. They should make at least 30, 40,000. Cause in, 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 in some reason we all, we, we big supporters now. So, I mean, everybody should, again, from this point on, and I'm not being funny, y'all. I want y'all to take this funny. Everybody should be getting an app. Y'all should have an app. All y'all should be buying the pay-per-views. All y'all should be dropping the receipts of the pay-per-views because that's where we at now. So since we doing it and showing how much we support, when GTX do their shit, everybody just show they re- we go do a spaces of who got their receipts of the thing. We're going to do a Discord of that. Who got their receipts of the GTX card, and we'll figure it out from there. We ain't going to keep doing it we ain't gonna, we, since we, we so receipt heavy because that's where we at now. But we're not going to disrespect Pat State neither. And that's what I'm here to tell y'all, bro. Everything else going to be everything else, girl. I'm good. I'm fine, y'all. I did what I felt like I needed to do morally. And I'm, listen, I'm going forth. The playoffs is fire. Everything else is going on. But a last statement, when it comes to bootlegs, don't try to come with this, a nigga asking for bootlegs, a nigga saying this, because we all ask for them, the whole community. We all would accept them if we could. The whole community. Show us what we sold you a bootleg, like the bootleg, man, and show what we've streamed KOTD event and sent any of those pay-per-views to somebody. Like, it's more than a text message or, or somebody saying, or you seeing somebody saying, where them bootlegs at? No, show what, show what somebody sold somebody prominent in this culture a bootleg and charge them or where these bootlegs is being sold at. And again, that's not to take away from the watch party or feeling like somebody shouldn't have charged for a watch party. I understand, I totally understand that. But with bootleg and watch party is two totally different things. Bootleg and it's like I'm selling this shit to this day when your VOD ain't out. That means I'm selling it right now. That's a bald face fucking lie, bro. And for y'all to add that in and even say to even throw that extra on the story, not to even get the story, like no. With a limit of 25 people. So even if it, even if you, even if I did, which wasn't the case, because I told you where the $10 started coming in, and that's truthfully. If I did do $10 for 25 people in a watch party, yeah, you're right. I paid $45 minus that. I, I would have made what? $205. I made $205, say to say. What did I do, bro? Especially after, if that's what I made, we sent John John 200, maybe $300. And people still bought it that was already in there. And got some got in free. So we didn't even make $250 if it was all at 10. Nigga had made respectfully $162 because you had a couple of funny motherfuckers with a dollar or whatever, whatever. Tops. And we give out way more money than you could ever think we ever got from a wa- from that watch party or a watch party you think we had. Show us what we selling these bootlegs at. Like, show us where we got a website or some selling bootlegs. That's a fucking lie. Or show us where we stream this, this past day event. And I understand y'all see an event. Y'all want to attach this to a thousand events. But, bro, everybody in America can tell you we at a thousand events as well. And that's not saying, oh, that don't mean... No, we had a thousand events. And that's when the part I started talking about the money and the going this and there and, and doing that. Because I do, uh, if anybody listen, jump topics a lot. I do interchange a lot of shit to make points. So you can get lost in, in my type of talking. You can. But let's not get it confused. That ain't what we did. And I just wanted to make that known. I ain't come here to over fight. I ain't coming to ask no questions. I ain't coming to answer no questions. Because I don't really, I, like I say, I said that when I said the tweet when y'all thought I was being funny. I said all this shit that overshadowed a great event. Not because I wanted it. They came out with this shit. Now, people keep saying, oh, Cole, you in a 
No, all this shit could have handled but been behind or whatever, whatever. But they took a watch party, turned it into bootlegging, turned into bootlegging for years, turned it into we took for Pest State, which he didn't pass, which is a total fucking lie, which we also added to it. And tried to support the best way we could would have been a double breasted, uh, double breasted weekend of battle rap, which the event we was in New York for. I don't like, come on, man. Now it's like, come on now. Some of y'all, y'all deserve y'all apologies. That's right. Truthfully so. Some of y'all, y'all reaching, y'all, y'all hate is it, just showing a hate for sure, for sure. But that's a part of this community. And we can't be mad at that. I ain't mad at all the bloggers doing what they doing. But hide a story of what you blogging about, right? And have your facts right. And you can add your funny shit in, because that's the part of this. I get it. I've been here. Trust me. I'm gonna have my turn again when one of you niggas come up. Cause everybody get a turn. But if watch party is my turn. To some of the shit that happened around here, I accept that any day. Give me that. But bootlegging, no, that ain't what I did. And that shit way better than accused rapists, fundler, snitch, uh, uh, whatever you want to attach after that. Cool. But again, bro, we didn't. I, on my mother grave, y'all just know we didn't do. We didn't cover no motherfucking uh, past day event. We was in. We was at Chrome. Nor run a stream for it. Now, far as whatever y'all seen with Polo asking for it, ask for the boot legs or whatever, that's between him asking for it, which I don't think is a crime, but no, but no, we didn't stream that event. No, we did not. And that's what I came to talk about, bro. And again, even to uh John John uh shit, like I said, as the host of one of those, I keep saying this shit. It's the first time I host it as the nigga that's streaming it live, my shit say red. Find that. Don't find these little messages where you're trying to put together what, oh, well, this was too. No, have I been a, let's make this clear too. Have I been a part of places where they boot? Hell fucking yeah. I didn't win enough. Paid my money in certain places. Hell yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you like I ain't gonna, but it's a lot of events I paid for as well. And I ain't saying that to cover up nothing. But no, nigga, we not finna turn this into a Ponzi scheme like a nigga. No, we not doing that. And that's my effort when I was saying, nigga, I go to a lot of events. That's my effort when I'm saying I'm a Bro, I got a thousand ways to hustle than just steady trying to take from a motherfucker. And again, what I said, if them bootlegs, bro, if I really was making 20, bro, I wouldn't, bro, if I was making tens and, and bro, you think I would try to put a mic in a nigga face? Or try to do any blog and a, bro, I would just come around this motherfucker and tweet and go on about my business. And be like a puppet of one of these niggas. I wouldn't try to go make music awards and do all this different shit and do like, and that's the part. I ain't fighting that uh, nigga saying a poly, but yeah, I'm gonna fight when niggas trying to paint extra on my character about shit when niggas know the good I do too. Like when I do, uh, I do as well. We're not gonna do that, bro. Hell no. And we're not gonna add on other leagues and we're not gonna play with the dead. Somebody, like I say, Pat Stay was in my space the last day before that night. That, the day that night that shit happened, the man was in my space for at least an hour and a half. Go find the footage. He don't even come in spaces. And again, Remy, my event took over that event to even uh, for the coverage that we did on that. Well, I did. I can't say what Tone and them did because they didn't own man. But the coverage I can do, I wasn't because I had to leave out and be a Remy. I flew out that morning because I was supposed to go to TS, that, TOS that Friday. And that next morning, I flew out again on Sunday. I was in the air the whole weekend. That's why you see me post my Remy shit on Monday, the 27th, because that's when I made it back to a, my destination. And that's what I came to clear, bro. We ain't not going to play with that boy past State or nor the event for what that was for, bro. Y'all not going to lie like that. And again, I had a watch party. I didn't do no bootleg. I don't sell bootlegs and run around and niggas DM somebody I got the bootlegs. I, that ain't what I did, bro. And I take all my wrongs again for, for the watch party. I do. That's on me, not on Black Combos. Whether you see you post, that's on Cola. And I, I'm willing to take that. And yeah, they talk to Tom Polo. All of them have talked to me the right way as they should and have they should have if I was them. I keep saying that, but we ain't gonna keep adding on to this shit like a nigga, like we niggas just still in front of, we ain't gonna do that. All my niggas just still in front of culture or trying to step on what niggas put on for these, for these leagues. Because one of the main person around here to name all the leagues is me. I name all the leagues to show them love or do or try to put on for niggas to see. They lower artists or they bigger artists. That's the part I'm fighting. We're not going to just disdain my one mistake, which is a mistake. I'm taking hold.
at some point. So I'm not fighting an apology. No, I see y'all. I'm not fighting to try to go against John or whoever feel a way about what happened. I'm not fighting that. But I'm fighting all the lies for sure. Because we're not going to paint like you all you, especially to, and I ain't talking to the bloggers that are people important. I'm talking to the irrelevance of, see, of people that think they more important. Like, oh, no, nah, not nah. like, nigga, you niggas ain't did half as much of much to even be talking about nothing because y'all not at it because niggas wouldn't even care if it was y'all. And that's the part I understand. But I'm not finna just take no lies, neither. Like, nah, y'all tripping, bro. Y'all tripping. And like I said, even with the shit, bro, I'm gonna say this publicly again, bro. I don't want no trouble with nobody. But as a man, I'm going where I feel like I need to, and I'm gonna always be where I want to go as a human being. And I think every man should feel like that. And I ain't got no problem with nobody. You feel like you got the problem? I understand. I don't want no problem with nobody. And I'm going to leave that like that, bro. Like, because I see people saying this, that, this, that. Like, bro, I ain't, listen, I ain't even had a situation to even indulge in that. Because I say it all the time. Like, shit can go any way with anybody in this race. And it, I mean, in this culture or race of type of culture we have. And it cannot be either of us or the people that have a problem. It can be my friend, your friend, his friend, my lady, your lady. I'm well aware of that. And that's the truth of that. So I ain't gonna come on here and tell oh, da, da, da. no, it could go either, it could go a lot of different ways in real life. And I know that in real life from just talking. Because a lot of shit where we are, a lot of us from ain't just a lot of talking. There's a lot of action. I know that's real. But it's actions that come with actions. So we are like all, oh, like I say, anything I need to rectify, everybody, like I say, everybody that needs to talk to me know my line. They know my inbox, they know how it works. If we want to do this shit, I, I'm taking everything that come along with what niggas feeling about how they feel, with what, what is right. But all the wrong shit, I'm going to always stand up to because we're not going to add on my name because I do more than a lot. And I and I do take my wrongs. I fucked up. That's on me. Big speaker fucked up. Blew, blew a speaker. Cool. But we ain't going to do that, bro. We ain't going to campaign chase and we ain't going to do this with these niggas that we know be hating. The platforms. Like, come on, bro. And again, and I said, even if we're going to, okay, cancel Cola, watch Party Cola, cool. That means right after I leave out the door or whatever niggas stop fucking with me, make sure y'all get all of the rest of the snitches, the rapists, and all these other niggas that y'all need to cancel for sure. That means nobody should be, a lot of blogging should be dead. A lot of platforms should be dead. It should be only like two or three. If this what we doing. That's all I'm asking y'all, but respect the KOTD because that's the only reason I can't. I didn't. I, I was done with it after Tone said it, even on the last on the show. If I went on and I said everything again, like bro, I understand what John John said. I understand what niggas was saying, but bootleg and that ain't what I was doing. That part of the clip, and I definitely didn't do one for Pet State KOTD event or whatever they did. Neither day, and we definitely donated as a platform for sure. That's what I want to make. No, I don't play with the dead, bro. That was whack. I don't play about the dead. I don't play with the dead. You can accuse me of anything. Dead people I don't play with, bro. You rarely hear me say on the guys in here or rest in peace the guy. I don't do, I don't play with the dead, bro. Especially not no nigga. I tell y'all all the time with one main relative that's, that matters, my father. No grandmas, no grandfathers, no mothers, no aunties, no nothing. Siblings and father. I would never play with the dead to get down on the dead. That's one thing y'all not going to put on my name. Hell no. I wouldn't touch nothing. All I would do is support that. Know where the fuck I'm from? I never play with no dead people. I don't even say on, the, on my gang or nothing really, really on here. I don't even play street politics on here like that. Whether it's def only defending myself and of. I never even played like that. So when niggas start doing that, like, nah, y'all wildin', bro. And now y'all actually got a goal or something now. That's what cowards do, bro. That's coward shit. Y'all add a man, and y'all, that's the lift you'll go in to try to put somebody that passed tragically on top of something that's wrong to try to add to what your whatever your motive is. That's whack. Don't do that. Because again, if you again find the person that said we that that show you me live streaming this pay-per-view, not asking about it, not doing nothing about it, and actually selling it to them saying, I got the bootlegs for 10, or I'm doing this for 25. Tell them to give you that. It's context, context over content in any day. Not just this old real of nigga looking for a nigga saying something about it. 
Because again, as well as in the, in, in these discords and shit y'all be in, not to make no excuse or whatever y'all feel. It's a lot of trolls. It's a lot of jokes going on. It's a lot of shit that be in there on the nasty side of battle rap. It is. But at the same time, we're not from the stretches like we've been doing this shit for seven years, nine years, eight years. Cut it out. And that's just that, bro. Salute y'all. Salute all the league. Salute KOTD. Salute uh, URL, Guerrilla Warfare, Ride, GTX, whatever you got, Bullpen, whatever you got going. We're going to continue to cover it, whether they like it or not, because then the artists that come up need to be covered. This shit need exposure the right way, and we taking our lumps with our lumps. It is what it is, bro. Everybody wrong. Ain't nobody perfect. We was born imperfect. We all fuck up, and I'm taking mine on the chin like I would with any situation. Y'all, this is a nigga with grown-ass kids and grown-ass people, and sometimes, again, some conversations get wrong because like any human being, when a nigga feel attack, a nigga going on attack. That's any nigga. When you feel attack, you going on attack, and that ain't taking well. But ain't nobody just moving a nigga in, in no corner as a man and nigga ain't going to be able to defend himself on no honor. And, I mean, in no honor or no case of uh, form. You're not. Especially when you know the lies. I, again, I can take the truth. I ain't never been like, I give y'all my truth every time I'm here. But I ain't taking no lies. I take what's my I came out and said it was me. Even with niggas steady bringing in more black compass niggas, what I say? It's, it was me. Me alone. I ain't added nigga. I, ain't bring, I said it was me. I take what's mine, but I ain't taking what's not mine. That's the real. We don't do that where I'm from. Four niggas in the car and burning there, burning yours. You, hey, yeah, yeah, or you running. We don't do the, hey, you. We don't do that where I'm from. We stand on ours. I take mine. I ain't got no problem with that. But the added shit, I'm not. I'm just not, bro. And it's gonna seem like a fight. It may seem like disrespect to others, but y'all ain't gonna let a nigga just add shit on y'all too. Neither. No, you're going to go in the court and let a nigga add charges on you that you know ain't you're going to fight them motherfuckers. But the ones that's against me, they got me. Gun charge, for sure. Possession. They got me. But I ain't taking them drugs, that, that other shit y'all got over there, that other shit that what you call it added to. I don't know what's going on. And I'm going to defend that. What up, Debo? All right, nigga. I'm tired of your ass not mentioning Queen of the Ring out here, man. <laughs> Come on, Debo, man. Yo, listen, man. Come on, bro. All I did is come on here. The only thing I wanted to do is come on here and say fuck no mercy. Fuck Black Compass as a record label staff and all that other shit. Nigga, I always want to play. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem, though, That's Debo. Problem. Now they think a nigga want to play. Yeah, nigga. It ain't... That's the point. It's not... It's not I under... And that's what nigga got to understand with me. I ain't the nigga... See, what every nigga interpret my attitude is, is that's how they think I'm care. Nigga playing. Nigga don't get no fuck. Nigga, da, da, da. nigga, you don't know me. That's a fact. You know the nigga I perform for you for a job than what I do. Nigga, you y'all don't know me, bro. Yo, listen. And I don't know a lot of y'all. Listen. You can't interpret how my feelings... Or what I'm inspiring, or, and that's what a lot of niggas trying to do. Like, oh, nigga acting like, because a nigga ain't called. No, bro, I know my demeanor. A lot of my demeanor don't go away. I talk to niggas that I feel, the niggas I get on the phone with respectfully, wasn't no disrespect to John. A nigga I know that can take my demeanor. Mm -hmm. My demeanor ain't a well go over demeanor. That shit can go mm -hmm. from one to fuck you niggas up because that's my demeanor. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to talk to a nigga with a demeanor like me. So that's the niggas I get on the phone with. And, and again, like I said to that phone call, everybody like, oh, you should have... No, John said he didn't want to talk to me as much as I didn't want to talk. That's why phone somebody of the nature can talk. But he's able to relay my sincerity of my apology as being the uh, forefront that y'all respect of the league. 100%. What's wrong with that? 100%. But you gotta... That's delegating a problem that ain't got to go to another limb. Especially if I'm saying it and then he asks you and you say the same thing, you can't say it shouldn't have been a call because you feeling like how I'm feeling. Cola. I told you all the time, you're making a sense. You're making sense in, a, in an industry that don't want no sense to be made. They want they want anarchy and chaos. That's what they're here for. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I don't give a fuck what they're here for. I'm going to explain again, Debo, to the people that I fuck with. See, this shit don't be about no fans, bro. Mm -hmm. I know three things in real life, Debo. I can take my humility. Two, I know niggas can get hurt. Mm -hmm. Anybody, mm -hmm. me or him. I know the severity of situations, so it, and when I know the severity, I'm going to do everything in the severity of until two to let you know that, bro, that wasn't my goal. 
Mm-hmm. That's real man shit, whether you like it or not. Mm-hmm. That one of my intentions, the shit take away or because as much as y'all all know whether any one of these battle rappers feel, they know how hard I go for the shit, how much I know the shit, and how hard I done fought for all of them. Yo, listen, man. Like, come on. Listen, we're not li- gonna... listen, listen, I did this for 13 years with me. I joke a lot just to keep my sanity because you know what I'm saying? I don't... You gonna be, this that's... ain't nothing to be, Debo, you know where you. we come from? I know where we come from. That's what I'm this saying. This what, nah, bro, like, I don't understand. See, everybody say they from these places we from, but bro, it's a, again, I, t- I told niggas, it's a different between being from the era of the neighborhood and the area. Yeah. Yeah. Them two different type of lives, bro. Mm-hmm. So this little shit ain't no, this shit ain't from, bro, whether you view me however you view me, this little shit ain't from with me because I know I made a mistake, bro. Yeah. I know I fucked up. I ain't work, bro. I, you you think a nigga ain't, I ain't never fucked up in my life? Yo, but that's why you I, fucking I, that, up, that, Cola, is get your shit in order. That's why that I, ain't this shit ain't never wronged me, nigga. No, that's, that's, I, that's, I, that's, I can take that, but I ain't taking the other shit. Nor is I'm telling you with knowing the reality of it. I know how niggas get when niggas hit me. They want to oh, nigga, see, bro, we ain't gonna do that. Cola, we we can't do that because it ain't that ain't that type of situation. Cola, listen, listen, listen. You apologize already. You already talked about the past day shit. We know it's real. I know it's real. You know what I'm saying? For the sane, the, the people that's sane enough to know that you're sincere, it's real. So at the end of the day, you ain't have to keep going with this shit, man. Just keep it No, nah, I had to address this past nah, day. I wasn't course, coming back. Course. But past day, no, nah, we of not course, gonna do that. A person that, that came game. and blessed my life the day before. Yeah. Nah, bro, I would never yeah. do we that. Ain't, we ain't playing that. We ain't playing those games. Those games is not nothing to laugh about. Let's tell you right, motherfucker. Hell no, nah, that ain't nothing nah, to play about, nah. bro. That's foul. That's foul. That's foul. Nigga, business, cause you know, bro. I'll be the first nigga to call you and be like, yo, nigga, you bugging the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Debo, we didn't call each other, but come on, come on. So you know my angle. I didn't call you like Debo. You like you. Come on, like I say, I'm gonna take the wrong of it. When you say Pat stay and you talking dead and Cola used to selling bootlegs, like I'm out here just no, bro. Yo, but this, that but ain't this what I'm, I'm saying, doing. This what I'm saying though, Cola. What I'm saying is, you know that's not what you're doing. What's the fucked up part is the people that's creating that narrative. But at the same time, for the Dang. people that's creating. For the people that's creating, even with the people that's saying fucking cold and all, I need the people that even feel a way that I still respect and fuck with to know what that is, Debo. That's beyond, that's not about no fan, bro. Understand. Like niggas say, it, it wouldn't be a big deal. Like I say, if niggas say, oh, Cola, you and your platform inside the culture, even when niggas saying so and so did it, it ain't gonna matter because them niggas not y'all. I get that part. Yeah. This is what I'm trying to tell you. So for the niggas who is, who do fuck with me and know I do good work in this, this for them. This ain't for these niggas that's, oh, Cola Ola or something. For, they, for the fans that's of self-satisfaction. I know them niggas. Right, right. That ain't what I'm, bro. I ain't, that ain't even what I'm mad at. Well, okay, well, that, as long as we know. As long as we know. You, nah, you, I'm, full, I'm, I'm, I'm know. fully, I'm fully, uh aware of the people that I need to be talking to, right. of the people that I fuck with, for them to understand. Because that's like I say, up. As a man, bro, whether you feel it or not, I mean, you respect it or not, I ain't letting no man. Once I feel disrespected, I'm going that way. Whether you feel like it wasn't that or not, unless we come to a rationalization of what's going on. That's just always going to be there for just how it is. That's just me. I, I can't change that. I can learn from it, but I can't. I can help and improve, but I, I can't just change that overnight. Right. That's what that is. Right. That's what got me right here to still be living right now to this day. Right. You see what I'm saying? So I can't just change that. Right. But at the same time, taking all of, oh, you bootlegging and you just like, this is an enterprise. Like, I'm making thousands and thousands. Like, bro, like I said, that would, you don't think I'll turn that shit into, that's a, that would, bro, come on, man, stop it. But that ain't, that wasn't my intention. So I don't want niggas to even think of a nigga showing up people, like, even when I say, well, Cola, how you was doing this to charge it, bro? Half the people it, that was in that bitch is half of the people that support me in here on a day to day that is saying they don't give a fuck. And I'm saying, nah, bro, you got to see it from the consumer point because Debo. I was a nigga just complaining and screaming that, listen, I host these spaces, which niggas is going to do. Mm-hmm. I wasn't telling anybody just to hit the cash app. I'm saying, listen, if you're a platform of media, you're going to scream, record my shit. You're going to take all the bad parts. You're going to rename them. The least you can do to donate. Right. You know what niggas did? They ran me through the ground, begging ass, hurting ass, nigga. Da-da-da-da. They, they went wild. Right. Cool. Right. It flip side, it come out. Now it come out. All I'm saying is this. From this day forward, for my services that y'all take and do what y'all do, do give, give me mine. Right. I don't want nobody else to just give me mine. Yo, cousin, this is what I, this is what I don't like. It just got too far with the past day shit. Because at the end of the day, like I said, if it were in true and I found out that you was doing a nigga, I'd be on your heels barking on you. Like, yo, you're bugging the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? You explained yourself. 
It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? People going to take it for what it's worth. Some going to believe you, some not. But you know what I'm saying? You can't keep harping on this shit here because people are going to continue to create narratives. And that's all. It ain't no, now, on, this is what the whole point is. Saying. That's why you supposed to stay in the, that's why you supposed to stay in the listener, Debo, because you coming at with the actual questions. I was done an hour ago till you added on fact. <laughs> So you gotta, you gotta see. That's what niggas don't understand. I be done, but then when you request another nigga up, another nigga come up, and he asks this. Now it come to this, and then if I feel like this is a disagreement, now so let me he apologize. Look, so, but he said, "Fucking no." That's why so I did you this. this. You coming let up me, with the let fact? Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. A lot of this shit is taken away from what we doing because you know, Gates of the Garden has a fire event coming up. Um, outside too, URL TV fire event. You know what I'm saying? Let's 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 get back to that. You feel what I'm saying? Let, let's let's get back to that. You said what you said. Shit is over with. You know, I know you probably don't want to do that now and shit like that. But you know, when you get a chance, bro, man. I'm a couple battle. I listen. I just couple. Listen, I I recap the event and that same thing, niggas. Like breaking it down, we had a whole. We still have 500 in here at that point. Mm. I just broke down URL outside too with GTX telling niggas like, bro, I'm gonna continue, bro. I don't give up, Debo. I'm not doing this job for niggas to like me. I'm doing this job because I'm a fan of battle rap, period. Whether they, whether a battle rapper like me and personally, that don't get, that not move me. I fuck with you because you a dope artist, whether you personally know me or fuck with me or not. Let's go. That ain't what I came here to, fo- to, to, to do to even care about. If a nigga say, well, personally, I ain't gonna, bro, you still get on the stage whether you dislike me or not. With me covering battle rap, I'm gonna say you whipped the nigga ass so I feel like you lost. Mm-hmm. Like it, bro. That shit didn't affect me. Well, oh, when niggas boycotted, well, okay, I see, I see, uh, uh, John John did this. As soon as his ass lose, I'm lighting him up. No, I'm gonna light John John ass up if he lose or win, like I usually light John John ass up, mm-hmm. or whoever win or lose, or whatever view I have, bro. Yeah. My voice, oh, that's why it's called the big speaker. My voice always been big on how I felt. Mm-hmm. I ain't never played in how, how I felt if a nigga won or mm-hmm. lost a battle. Mm-hmm. It's battle rap. This not niggas girls or niggas behind it. This is battle rap, bro. If I can't tell you one or if I can't give you my view in a prediction based type sport and you don't take that and you mad about that, that's between you and mad. But I can't I can't base that off my opinion when I see you like, oh, that bitch ass nigga dissed me in that battle. So yeah, when he battled, what's it called? Personal him, agenda. I definitely got him losing and he lost. I don't got that type of bro. Stop it. Personal agenda. So yeah. You know how many niggas I say this that I done argue with on my block, fought with it on my block, got into it on my block, two days grown from young to grown, nigga, and we talk every day like ain't nothing happened, nigga. Like what are you talking about? This shit ain't got this ain't no this is a job, bro. Ain't no personal gain. Ain't listen, ain't no personal gain coming from this outside the job that can come but the job. Mm-hmm. The relationship's just a bonus, Debo. Just a bonus. Because everybody else that don't got these relationships, that got platforms, is still flourishing, whether they fuck with these people or not. One thing I can salute you on, Cole, is that you outside, though, working. You in the team. For sure. You in the team. You're outside working. You're not hiding. And we're going to continue working, bro, from, from, from behind the scene insights to whatever, whatever going on with whoever they may be, bro. That's the job. Mm-hmm. But all the other shit, we lead the other, because like I say. Again, even to the shit. None of that is for an event. Mm-hmm. That ain't for no event. That ain't mm-hmm. for a nigga to go somewhere and be tearing up somebody else's shit where they trying to make a process of money. Mm-hmm. That ain't even that. That ain't even that serious. Right. It, it, it's other forms of, of shit for that type of activity. Right. At a certain point, as a community, we could have learned from this shit instead of tearing each other down and doing and saying dumb shit, and doing dumb shit. We could have learned from this. And listen, thing. we learn. I'm not, bro. I'm not never doing a hosting of a, of a nothing of nothing except it's Battle Rap Olympics. What I can do in here and take all rounds, which is on YouTube, which I've been doing. Final four coming this weekend. Pot up to three forty, which are we giving back. You know what I'm saying? We got still got our awards coming up where I was been moving. A lot of people don't know that. Mm-hmm. That's why I ain't do the awards and give out the shit because I have been moving. Shit I did from research for 2001 mm-hmm. that none of these niggas that just run around and do. Mm-hmm. Like, none of these niggas be doing, bro, that still, my work is going to outweigh anything they try to complain about. Where is they work besides recapping my space or doing something innovative? Hey, continue to do what you do, my nigga. Come on, man. I'm not, I'm not tripping about that. Continue to do what you do. Everybody keeps saying the internet. Listen, all these people y'all saying coming to the internet, they know how to get in contact with me, too. So evidently they want to be on the internet just as well as I'm coming. Well, listen, handle your. That's what y'all gotta remember too. Handle your business. I'm gonna go back to listening and shit. And you know, you, you do your thing, my nigga. I, I got, I got that. your back, like always, me. No, that's a fact. One. But don't have like you like you say to don't have my back for the wrong reasons. Like they say, them boys, them boys got it. They got they got a reason to be mad. 
nigga. I've been saying I, I, nigga, that. I had a reason to be mad. We already talked about this behind the scenes. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is my man, period. You know what I'm saying? Because you show loyalty to me, I show loyalty to you and shit. At the end of the day, you know you did wrong, you admitted that. Man, every nigga know Debo. That's all I'm saying. Every nigga know who I rocked with outside or however they feeling. The, man, they know how, they know the score with me, man. Yeah, nigga, you fucked up. And they know you, what's you up with me. You man, fucked they know, up. They know the score with me. You fucked up and you apologize for it. You made it right. You're trying to make it right. And that's what it is, man. That's that's and that's what matters. People have a big people have a reason to be. Fuck mad. what these fans. The fans gonna do what the fans gonna do. The blog is gonna do what the blog is gonna do. This is for the people that matter that care of right, or right, what's nigga, going on because the, they wouldn't care. Right, nigga, don't ever say fuck the fans. Nigga, the fans is always right. Nigga, the customers no, always right. No, my I don't call my people. I call the people that fuck with me. They support us. Like, they know who they all is. Right, got you. I'm out of here, man. I'm talking about the fans that feel like 40, 40 follower Pete though that think he's bold. Like bro, ain't nobody listening to you, fool. All right, and thousand people that know you for real. How we believe in like, like you got some moral standing? Don't nobody even believe in your real life moral standing. We see your following. All right, nigga, put me back to listening, man. I'm out of here. Nah, you could. You, all you gotta do is switch to listen oh. to Debo. You say you want to talk to me. I don't know how to work this oh, yeah. shit, man. Bye. Bro, he don't know how to work it. Your mic working, ain't it? Like I said, y'all, I ain't want to come do this. Y'all know I'm tired of this shit, man. I know y'all wanted to fuck this shit, Cola. Y'all wanted to get reckless and get crazy. I understand a lot of y'all feel, think I'm saying fuck it. Cool. I understand. But a lot of y'all don't know me. Seriously. Outside of this internet, y'all don't know me. Y'all know who I am, and I ain't fighting that with y'all. At the end of the day, I'm good. You ain't got to worry about me. I'm definitely big car Cola, so y'all know I be at all the biggest events. And I'm going to continue to do that with my team and with my people at Delegate Battle Rap. Stop the cap at the cash shop. It's, it's just the facts of the wood. Shout out the NBA playoffs. Shout out everything going on. And shout out y'all, bro. On to the next. Back me, get back to my spaces. Make sure to get to that Patreon because we're going to get to, again, this shit helped me even go into my series and theories of what is perfection. Is that something we all garner? We think something of real because when a mistake happens, we think perfection is something of, but we if we try to overdefine a mistake or is we, it's only perfection in numbers, sports, and games that'll get us the illusion to think it can be something that can be perfect. I'm just asking. We going at a whole nother level with this shit, bro. That's it and that's all. Salute everybody that pulled up. Salute my platform. Y'all can run with all the extra shit y'all want to run with. Rest in peace, Pest Day. LB the boss, Tall T, all the people that's been lost in this culture. Let's let's not say that since we here. You feel me? Bracken, Free Spills, all the people behind the wall that's from here. Free Surf. And salute the culture, man. We here, we delegating. Got some shit coming, couple of new shows coming up. And we're gonna keep we gonna keep motivating and doing what we're doing. Big article dropping. We got shit still going on, man. I just wanted to last time clear that up. Not bootleg. No, I wasn't. I did have watch party. Yes, I did. My, that's on me. We didn't violate no, or disrespect no Pest State. No, we wouldn't. Especially when we got the last space and one of the last interviews from Pest State. He fucked with us hard body. More than anybody that can assess us. Pest State fucked with us. We not going to do that. We would never do that to the homie. And we put in. Fucked up. It had to be that type of event. In, in, in honor of that he ain't still here. Respectfully. We would never do that to Pat. And yes, I take it, don't get that polo tone, Drizzy, that's on, that's on Cola, man. However you may feel. And salute y'all, man. Black Compass Media. We'll be back.